Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am finally diamond painting again. I have not touched the diamond painting since I last filmed with you two weeks ago. So I am finally starting to feel a little bit more motivated to do the crafts that I have, which makes sense because this was about the same time last year that I started to get my motivation and my drive back to do my stitching. So it makes sense that I would start to feel the drive to do my my crafting again now so you know last year I think I took about the month of August off from stitching and start and I was uh, so I you know I did other things like played my computer games and I, I don't even remember what all I did last year but you know I just needed to have that time away from crafting to have a break so now I am back. I am off from work for the next week. So I'm hoping to have a big crafting, you know, a lot of time devoted to crafting and to getting those things done. I have a big list of goals I would like to achieve in the next week or so. Um, along, amongst that being filming as well as just some, some mini goals for for my stitching and knitting and uh, and diamond painting so that I can see some progress on some some different works that I'm you know some different projects that I'm working on so hopefully this time next week there will be some significant more progress on all of my crafts. So like I said, I have not touched this project since I filmed with you two weeks ago. So I am not going to show you uh, where it's at because it's no different than the the video prior to um, prior to the last video. So if you're interested in seeing, I did show the entire project to date in the last video. So you're more than welcome to go back and take a look at that at the beginning of the video. I show the the entire the the entire finished piece to date. I have the top first row or what I consider the first row done and I've now started on to the second row of you know section for this piece my first diamond painting and it's going pretty well uh, you know I'm 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 enjoying it 
you know, uh, is this my absolute favorite craft project? No, you know, it's not definitely not going to take the place of cross stitch. I don't know if anything is going to take the place of cross stitch for me as far as top craft. And that was the intent going in. I did not expect, I did not plan on, you know, replacing cross stitch at all. I was really just looking for, you know, a different avenue of being creative and trying something new. So do I plan on doing a lot of diamond painting in the future? Probably not. You know, I'm a big project person anyways, so whenever I do a project, you know it's going to be a large project. So it's not like these pr two projects that I have in diamond painting are going to be quick and easy projects. They're going to take me a while to do anyways. So for right now, they're the only two projects I have. I do not have any plans on ordering any more for the time being. And so my videos are mainly going to be geared towards stitch, or yeah, stitch with me, painting with me videos. And maybe if I do like a new technique or a new tool or something like that, then I will have, you know, a product review or a video such as, such as that. But for the most part, the videos that I'm going to have will be the the paint with me videos, which seems to be the most popular for me anyways, just because there is not a whole lot of those kind of videos out there for for diamond painters. and i'm I'm pleased to, you know, to help fill that that void in the market. So along with my lack of motivation to, to do all my crafting, I have not even really been watching a whole lot of YouTube as far as diamond painting or stitching videos, floss tubes. So I'm really starting to just get back in and kind of catch up on the videos that I've missed in the last few weeks. And I'll get caught back up. I have plenty of time in the next week. I have been watching a lot of Netflix and Hulu. I had completed, finished watching all of The Handmaid's Tale, the first two seasons. I have also completely watched the entire season, uh, uh, season six of Orange is the New Black, which was pretty good. It was much, much better than last, last year's season. Uh, so hopefully that will um, uh, continue to be better than they have been. I was very disappointed with last year's season. Which I think a lot of people were. And I also just finished watching um, on Netflix I Am a Killer, which is a documentary series of people on death row or have just been um, resentenced to life in prison for murdering. And it tells their side of the story. instead of the um, it just gives a different view a different side of the story from you know the what you hear often on the news or doc, typical documentaries so that was interesting
And if you watch my other videos, you would also know that in the last week, I've also gotten back into my knitting, which I kind of had a feeling I would as the weather starts to change and, you know, the cooler weather, not that it's getting much cooler, but, you know, the essence of cooler weather starts to approach. I kind of figured that I would start to get into that mindset. So I started to knit the mittens that Caroline from Off the Grid Needle Arts is teaching us, well, teaching me and all those who are interested in learning how to knit with me. Um, so I have been uh, busy trying to finish those up. I have one completely done ex except for the thumb and I have the other almost done. Uh, I'm working on the, I just finished the thumb gusset last night and I'm working my way up to the fingers and then that way I can get ready for whenever I think Caroline is hopefully going to be putting out a video this week on finishing up the thumb because that is the, that's the one thing I do not know how to do and I'm hesitant to do it without some guidance so I'm sure I could figure it out or find a video but I'd like to follow Caroline's tutorials because that's the whole purpose of learning from Caroline and it's always I to me more fun to learn from a friend than learn from somebody you don't know And then I also have lots of plans in the works for my cross stitching this week. So I have lots to do with, um, I have a model I need to stitch this week for a new design. So that will hopefully be uh, announced later this week more to come on that and um, I kind of am looking I don't know I you know I keep saying I want to pull Henry back out my heaven and earth design but at the same time there's so many other things I would like to work on that you know small of my smaller projects that I kind of would like to see some decent progress on that I might consider doing uh, some uh, heavy focus on those like throughout the week so I am not completely sure what my focus is going to be this week but I am going to have focus and I'm going to get some significant progress done And I think something I also said in my other videos that um, because we have such sedentary hobbies, I have really been trying whenever I, since I have not been being very motivated recently, I have been much more motivated to get out and be active and get my, uh, my steps in and for, on my Fitbit. So this week I was able to get five days out of the seven days of the week with 10,000 steps, 10,000 plus steps. So I'm very pleased with that. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay much more motivated there and just focus on uh, incremental positive improvements in fitness you know nothing drastic 
but just being more active and more uh, less less sedentary. You know, when I'm at work, I try to get up every hour and do my 250 steps. Uh, if I'm not, you know, in a meeting or or required to be sitting. I'm trying to uh, drink more water and just trying to do those things that will help get those goals achieved. And it's actually helping because then when I come home, it's much less steps that I have to do to achieve that 10,000 steps at the end of the day. that can one go. There it is. The dump. Go. Come on. You don't belong. There we go. Don't even need this many, but that's all right. Almost done with this color. So I was not thinking, and I did not prepare a tag. For this video because I thought I would have enough to talk about as far as what's been going on in the recent days. Let's see, let's go ahead and Just loading this back in. Come on. Sometimes if I have I have extras, let me see. Thirty-five. Yep, there, there's thirty-five. So some of these I have extras in a bag. So as I empty the the these bins out. I've been filling them up just to what let's do this.
Okay. Now that we are loaded back up, still have a few more left in the bag there, as you can see. But we'll get there. We are going to move on to this symbol right here now, which I think is this blue here. It's a bluish color. Um, 28. I know a lot of people like to use the the a lot of people use the the key on the side of the thing. I still like to use the the key that comes with the the on the paper and like I said in my unboxing from my Huacan kit there we go I just made a mess let's see if I can pick some of them up I uh, I will probably make a color copy of that key and then use that for my key going forward whenever I actually work on that project just because that's my preferred method of of painting because you know the the while it's nice to have it on the there's that while it's nice to have it right there on the canvas if I'm working all the way on the other side of the canvas you know that's not always handy so I like to have the paper so I can just simply Pull the pull the paper out and look at it. So that's that's my way of thinking. You know, everyone has their own style, their own technique. And that's what I found that works best for me. see if we move back just a bit you might be able to get a bit more of not so much my hand yeah when I'm filming or when I'm working here you can see I'm trying to do the checkerboard I will do the checkerboard for this section and then go back in and fill it in
So I know another technique that many people use when they're working on the edges of their canvas is that they like to have a ruler that they put on the side and they will that way then they get smooth even edges. I have not found the need to to utilize that. I, I find that I still get very even um, edges especially when I'm using the the checkerboard because the checkerboard helps the the diamonds adjust to to each other so that it it smooths out but I'm able to eye it well enough that I can get a smooth line again that's another technique that you know each person utilizes to their own necessity but again I'm trying to use minimal cost to this and I actually don't own any rulers that's not something I've ever really needed and so I'm not I don't really want to have to go buy a ruler and luckily I've not found the need to do so and now I can go in and fill this all in and that's the quick part because since the the spots are already there all I have to do is go in and I don't have to worry necessarily about lining up the the diamonds to fit the uh, the grid they kind of just fall into place So I hope you all have a wonderful week. I might be back later on this week for another Paint With Me video, maybe Thursday. And if not, I will definitely see you on Monday for a Paint With Me video. And don't forget to always be creative. See you next time.
Yeah, yeah, yeah.